Day Claimer, May 28th, Sunday, May 28th, Jeff McDonald with Joe Ramia are participating in Open House, Toowoomba Open House, and you're doing the guided tour with Joe of Toowoomba City Well, Hall. yeah, so with Joe, story. There, there may be a, a crossover yeah, period, because okay, right. um, we'll try and split ourselves up, because yep. as you know, on any given, given weekend, yep. there's plenty of things to do across ah. our region, so uh, I know Joe and myself are committed to mm -hmm. other things for the day, so we'll probably... Uh, go solo, yep. uh, but we will meet up in the middle for yep. some time, so that'll be a feature for people to come and see us both yep. together, obviously. Yep. Uh, but look, it's a great opportunity for people not only to see City Hall, yep. but to go around all the other places. There's 18 other places That's for right. them to see on that Sunday, the 28th, mm -hmm. um, and it's growing in popularity. It is. I've had the great fortune of being the tour guide here for the first three years mm -hmm. of Plumber Open House, yep. and I'm amazed at the interest in City Hall, I have yeah. to say. You know, you sort of take it for granted, and I have, before I was on council, uh, I'd only been in City Hall for, for various functions. Mm -hmm. But when you get to understand the history behind it and the little stories, you know, that uh, that have happened over the, that period of time, yep. uh, it really is a special place and it is a community building. Yep. Uh, so yep. uh, if nothing else, we should encourage people, our residents, to come and have a look at City Hall Please do. Uh, and just explore it. Yep. And um, above us is the clock tower, so you've got a story about that, which we're not going to give too much away in this video because we want you to come down on Sunday. That's the right, Ted. No, let's not give too much no. away, but the clock tower is significant in the sense that um, the original design of the building didn't include the clock tower. Right. Now there's a scoop for you. Mm -hmm. uh, it is, uh, or was at the time, the, the tallest building in Toowoomba. Mm -hmm. Stands 23 metres tall. Right. Okay. Uh, so, um, but it's it's interesting and how it operates. Uh, I'll be able to touch on that as yep. well, Joe, on the day. Yep. But uh, what is interesting, Daryl, uh, and to the viewers out there, the thousands and millions of viewers. Yep. This is actually the third town hall. Right. Okay. okay. And it I was called the town hall at the time yep. until 1952, when the Chamber of Commerce lobbied and said, "Look, we're bigger than a town. Yep. We should be a city." Yep. And it was, uh, we, we became a city. In 1904, yep. um, so rightly so, it is now city the hall. city hall. Yep. Um, but the first two were actually on the corner of uh, of Harry's, oh, sorry, of James and Neal streets. Yep. Yep. And then as the Toowoomba municipality grew, uh -huh. uh, they outgrew that space. Uh -huh. um, unfortunately, in 1898, the School of Arts building on the corner of Harry's and Margaret Street yep. was destroyed by fire. Yep. And the municipal council of the time decided, uh, at that point, to build mm -hmm. um, town hall at the yep. time in this uh, location. Beautiful, beautiful. And look, we, we're going to go and sneak inside now. And Arlene Molden from Toowoomba Local App is going to have a chat to Jeff about the groom room. Groom room. The groom uh, room. Significant. And, a very and significant I'm, building. I've been very right. honoured to get in there once a month and sit on a committee here with Jeff and and. Jeff will talk about the groom room with Arlene and, and not give too much away again because we want you to come and see it, but let's move into the groom room. Looking forward to the groom room. Okay. Don't forget, Daryl, to, to take a shot yep. of the foundation stone as well. That's right, I've got that. Uh, yep. 20th of February, yep. put it up on there, uh, 20th of February, 1900, mm -hmm. when uh, building had commenced. Yep. Uh, so, pretty yep. significant piece of... And it's just uh, inconspicuously placed on a wall, yep. but it means so much. Okay, great. Okay, we're going to the groom room. We're off. The groom... Hi Jeff, so this is the groom, uh, the groom room, obviously, obviously, so can you tell us a little bit about it? Well Arlene, firstly, lovely, lovely to meet you. Yes, you too. Toowoomba Local Lab. Link, yeah, Toowoomba Local Lab. Well yeah. done. Um, yeah, groom room. This is, um, this is the, um, this is actually what we're looking at here, and, and your little grab of it, is the original council chamber's uh, desk. So councillors uh, operate over here right. in the original chamber. And the chairs, the wicker chairs, are uh, original chairs as well. Uh, so quite a significant room named after the first mayor mm -hmm. of Toowoomba, William Henry Groom. And, uh, and it actually has some features for those who are interested in, in modern and uh, contemporary, I guess, and history. Um, you'll see, and you might be able to see there, and Daryl take some shots, yeah. uh, the light fittings. Mm -hmm. The one in the middle yeah. is an original, original light, yeah. and then the others are outside. And done in a sympathetic way, so that uh, you can tell straight away that they mm -hmm. are modern, yes. but they actually fit in with uh, the, the architecture and the design. Yeah. Uh, the fireplace is also pretty special, and we can talk yes. about that on the tour. Uh, but look, this, this is one of um, quite a few meeting rooms that yes. we have in City Hall. Uh, and the significance of this, of course, is that it was the original council chambers. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the ceiling so. is magnificent, it's just beautiful. Yeah, the um, press metal ceilings, and you'll see that throughout the building. Mm. Um, you know, and uh, for a building at its time, keeping in mind that this, this building was, was actually constructed in 11 months, 
Right. Um, the contract was for 18 months. It was done in, in 11 months mm -hmm. by a, a local builder, yeah. um, Alexander Mayers. Right. And there's a room upstairs, mm -hmm. which you might go to shortly right. just to, to head out on the balcony. Um, so he's a local builder and there's a room named after him. After him, him. okay. Mm. Yeah. No, you, you really need to get down here and do this tour. It's just magnificent in here. It is lovely. Mm, beautiful. Yeah, well, welcome everyone. Joe and myself, Councillor Ramey and myself on the 28th of, of May. We'd love to see you. But also, the Toowoomba Quilting Club, Toowoomba Quilters, uh, made this magnificent quilt mm -hmm. and donated it to Council right. in March 2000. Okay. Yep. And it features uh, a lot of the landmarks right across uh, Toowoomba. Mm -hmm. And it is just absolutely spectacular. Right. Um, so worth having a look at that yes. any time, but certainly on the yeah, 28th of, uh, of May. And as you were saying, this is a public building, so you, mm. you can come in any time and have a look at it. But the 28th of May is what we're really saying. And you'll get the expertise of this man who knows so, oh, so much history and that's, <laughs> tell you some funny stories about Lamington and, and Groove. <laughs> <laughs> a party that never happened. <laughs> and we're actually up on the balcony now, which yeah. overlooks uh, Ruthven Street. Um, and at uh, Christmas time, of course, it yeah. comes alive with the, uh, the lighting up of City Hall, yeah. uh, courtesy of West Toowoomba mm -hmm. Lions, who do, do an awesome job up yeah. at the Wonderland of Lions. But it, it um, and a bit of a uh, date claimer there, Thursday 30th of November. Oh, you're already that far ahead. We're that far ahead. I'll then put that on the app. Thursday 30th of November. <laughs> Make sure it's on. Uh, Santa, it'll be, Santa a, yeah, it'll be a fantastic night. Yeah. We're working through a few of those things now. Oh, good. Uh, but uh, it, it lights up beautifully. It just lends itself. The architecture yeah. lends itself beautifully to that. Um, and uh, in behind us there, you might yeah. be able to see there. Yes, yeah, the there they are. The, rails. the stairs yeah. up to the clock tower, which we mentioned earlier. Yeah. Uh, so we'll be able to talk a little bit about that on the day as well. Mm -hmm. And will we tell them what happens here once a week in the clock tower or we save it for the day? What? Oh, that sounds a bit... You know. <laughs> Dodgy. Uh, the, the clock, there's a trick with the clock. There's a trick Every with the week, clock. Every okay. week something has to happen. The mouse the ran clock. up the clock. That's right. The clock struck one, the mouse so, ran down, higgery diggery dog. So if you so, come on the 28th of May, he'll tell you what happens here because um, the clock is a mechanical clock. It's it's not plugged into any power or anything, Darryl, is it? you're digging yourself into a hole here. We can't get out of it. <laughs> so you need no, to come no, there's to lots of exciting there's things secrets. with City Hall. There are secrets. There's well, secrets. secrets, but they've always happened, yeah, and, yeah. and it's something that uh, you know those that come along will mm -hmm. hopefully learn more yeah. about, uh, not only about City Hall, but also around mm -hmm. Toowoomba and around the history, yeah. uh, and how we've grown since those early 1900s. Yeah. And then um, make the stage in 1982. I've got to say this: I was performing on the stage here at City Hall as Joseph, and his technical dream coat. The construction's going on. Out word there, the word has filtered through, yeah. Daryl. That um, I'll be in back the, on. I won't specify the exact year, but it was in the yeah. 80s yeah. when you were Joseph. Yes, that's right. Joseph's yes. technical dream yes. coat. Um, yet to see uh, it's fun, evidence. Of that, I'll bring but the evidence. Look, I'm hopeful that you will bring that, and maybe maybe put it on this video. Yeah, I'll be I'll, I'll, I can put it on. So, that, were you fully shaven then? Or yes, <laughs> yes, I was. And Martin Perez was um, potrified. No. Oh wow! And Gee, we see now he's a skinny ass. Yeah, he's, not he's, boy. he's looking good. Yeah, he's looking good. So. But uh, but mm. there's some, there is some great history, yeah. and we're hopeful that um, come October, November this year, the Toowoomba City Hall Auditorium yep. will be open yep. and another wonderful community space, right. uh, flat floor. Uh, together with an atrium, uh, so there'll be three, uh, three lots of spaces there, and there'll be there'll be uh, uh, pictorials yep. on the day that people can see that how it will look, uh, and open up into the civic square. So um, yeah, once again, beautiful part of our history, mm -hmm. and certainly uh, part of our rich traditions and our bold ambitions. I love that. Yeah. Rich traditions, bold ambitions. TRC Toowoomba Regional Council and Toowoomba. I know you're very busy. But thank you for your time today, and thanks for uh, being with Arlene and myself. Oh, I've appreciated it. I had that. a little sneak peek of City Hall, but the 28th of May, come down and see Jeff and, and Joe. Yeah, and love to see you all. Show you around. It'll be so, great. Again, thank Good you. Good on you, Daryl. No worries. So, thank if you've got, you. any, got any questions, go to the Toowoomba Open House website or the Facebook page, and it'll have a map there of the 19 venues that are open, and even the, um, the men's municipal toilets will be open. Fantastic. Yeah, so you can get in there and have a look at them. That's, that was pulled um, that's apart really brick by brick and rebuilt. Brick by brick and rebuilt big yeah. brick. I think that's the that's the intrigue for people mm. to go and see that, yeah. more so than the use. Yeah, that's Carol. right. Well, you can't use it. No. It, back, exactly. Carol Taylor was but, telling me back in the state, used to just go into the creek. 
We're not allowed to do that, those things anymore. But that was that That's was not happened. uncommon. Yeah, yeah. That was not uncommon. Yeah. That was uh, certainly a very modern form of That's right. uh, yeah disposal disposal of, of uh, human waste. waste. <laughs> That's right. Twenty eighth of May, Toowoomba Open House. Love to see you there and get around to all the venues and. Um, we look forward to seeing you then, Jim. Good Thanks on. again. Thanks, Sarah. That's the second handshake That's actually it. we've had yeah. is the cheerio. So. That's right. It's like saying goodbye five times before <laughs> we go. Goodbye, Daryl. Goodbye. We'll see Bye. you later, Toomba. Catch Sign you later. Up. Bye now. Okay.